present day Bryce Harper. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome to Philly Sensitive Media and today we're going to recap in this afternoon's spring training game between the Philly Phillies and the Toronto Blue Jays as the Phillies defeat the Blue Jays by final score um, 10 to 5 as the Phillies hit 5 home runs this afternoon. Bryce Harper with 2 bombs. It was a great game to listen to, right? This is an absolute offensive explosion. After we lose 14 to 8 yesterday, we come back out and score 10 runs. Guys, before we get into this video, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please don't forget your bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Video, and let's get into this. This video is also brought to you by All Things Phillies. All Things Phillies provides daily game video highlights from the game. So please go subscribe to his channel. Link in the description section. Uh, so this was just great, right? I mean, I understand this is spring training, but our offense has been on fire so far this spring, right? A lot of home runs, a lot of action. Uh, Mickey Moniak with another home run. Uh, another home run for Mickey Moniak. Uh, and uh, Bryson Scott also getting his first of the spring. Uh, this was a great day. This was just a great day. Didi Gregorius with another home run, you know, back-to-back -back days. He is homered. Uh, so he's looked great so far this spring. And, uh, you know, Bryce Harper, the first home run he hit, that was just an absolute gimme, right? That, that hanging, breaking ball. The second one, not as much. Uh, you know, the second one was more of a, you know, decent pitch but better swing. But they're both hangers, no question about that. But the first one definitely was just like, wow. Uh, so as we pick up the scoring summary here in the top of the first inning, here we go. Bryce Harper with a solo shot uh, on a fly ball to right center field. He absolutely clambered that ball. His first home run of the spring, and it's one nothing Philadelphia here in the first. Uh, so uh, we did not get to watch this game, but uh, you know, thanks to Broads Media, right, the goat, right, friend of the pod, Hunter Brody. You know, his operation, you know, Broads Media. You know, they provide uh, you know highlights throughout the game, and uh, you know, Buck Martinez and whatever the Blue Jays. Car analysis is I forget his name uh, calling the game over on uh, you know Toronto Sportsnet uh, so Buck Martinez with the call you know Scott Francis on the radio that ball was absolutely destroyed so one nothing Philadelphia so we did get to you know see the highlights uh, which was nice to see you pick it up here in the bottom of the first inning Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with another home run against the Phillies as he homers on a fly ball to center field his second of the spring right you know the two home runs he's hit again been against the Phillies uh, remember last spring and even just in the last season he's just absolutely killed the Phillies uh, so we got ourselves a tie ball game at one so that was off of Bailey Falter uh, who uh, you know got you know a decent amount of openers last year for the Phillies and uh, we pick it up here in the tap in the third inning Bryce Harper does it again ladies and gentlemen and second of the game. This is going to be hype for the regular season as he homers on a fly ball to right center field. A two run shot also scores Gene Segura, his second of the spring, second of the game. As the Phillies get the lead back now, a three to one ball game. Uh, so Bryce Harper uh, looked great today, right? We'll get, we'll talk about it a little bit more, but also with that line drive single, uh, you know, he was great. Uh, he was great. He just absolutely just, uh, you know, killed uh, Kuduchi, uh, who was, you know, on the map for the Blue Jays. Two runs off of him, and he actually did so well that when he gave it the third time uh, they took him out of the game. Charlie Montanito of the uh, Toronto Blue Jays manager took him out of the game and then uh, Harper ended up striking out but still a great day for Bryce. Let me pick it up here. Uh, same inning. Bryce and Scott walks with the bases loaded. Nick Castellanos made his Phillies debut today. Comes around to score uh, and it's now a 4-1 to ball game. So the Phillies extend their lead there. Uh, I hate when the Phillies do that, right? The bases loaded walks is absolutely just unacceptable, inexcusable uh, what the Blue Jays do it right there. Uh, so a 4-1 to Phillies lead, and we pick it up here in the tap in the fourth inning. Didi Gregorius. Homer's on a deep line ball to right center field. A solo shot. His second in the spring. Second, uh, you know, in two days. Right now, bang-to-bang days. He is homered, uh, and it is now a 5-1 to ball game. So Didi, do not give up on Didi. I talked about it yesterday. I'll talk about it again. Uh, and also, he did not look great, you know, to start off 2021 either. Right? Let's not forget that even spring training, he didn't look very good. He's looked great. He started off with a bang here in 2022. And hopefully this is a preview of what we see in the regular season. Do not give up on Didi. Do not give up on Didi. Uh, I know his defense, that's a whole other, that's an other thing. But you know, offensively, we all know what he can do on the offensive side. Do we pick it up here in the top of the fifth inning? Bryson Scott, the Phillies top prospect. Uh, Homer Sonny fly ball, two right center field. A two run shot also scores Juan Camargo. Uh, and that's Scott's, you know, 
first home run of the spring, and it gives the Phillies a 7-1 to lead. So 7-1 to Philadelphia. I said it pretty much all along. Even when last year, you know, in the rankings, they had Mika Bell ranked number one, Bryson Scott ranked number two. I said it all along. I said, I, in my opinion, consider Bryson Scott to be our number one prospect. I do not. I, I love Mika Bell. Don't get me wrong. I mean, now he's number two. But I do not consider Mika Bell to be the number one prospect. Uh, and, uh, they, you know, of course, every year they configure the rankings. And now they put Bryson Scott as the number one prospect. That is where he should be. Uh, so this guy has the ability to hit to all fields. You know, he did pull the baseball in from the left-handed side of the batter's box to right center field. Uh, so a nice swing right there from Bryson Scott. So a uh, 7-1 Philadelphia. Now we pick it up here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Danny Jansen, Homer Zunny, fly ball to the left field. His first of the spring. Uh, pretty much a no-downer off of Nick Nelson. Uh, and the Blue Jays get one back now. A 7-2 ball game. Uh, so Danny Jansen, the guy that's, uh, you know, been, you know, all right with, the, you know, the Toronto Blue Jays. Now we pick it up here in the tenth and sixth inning. Mickey Moniak. Does it again, ladies and gentlemen. I, I just can't believe this guy. Is he homers on a fly ball to left center field? A 200 shot also scores Harp. Uh, Moniac's third home run of the spring. You know, third home run, uh, you know, in the past five days. You know, he did homer on Thursday against the Pirates. Uh, then he homers yesterday, and then he homers today. Uh, I don't know what's gotten in with this guy. Uh, you know, definitely hit the ball out of the ballpark. Uh, so the first round pick out of 2016, uh, and it's been hot recently. He's definitely been hot recently. So a two round shot for Mick. Uh, so a nine to two Phillies lead. Uh, so that was just great to see. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let me pick it up here in the bottom of the sixth inning. To Oscar Hernandez. Uh, doubles on your line drive to right field, and uh, Stuart Berra comes around to scores. The Blue Jays get one back, now a 9-3 to ball game. So Oscar Hernandez coming over to the Toronto Blue Jays uh, in a trade of the Houston Astros in 2017. He's been one of the you know Blue Jays' you know bright spots. You know, definitely, you know, a nice, you know, young bat in that lineup. They hit for some power. So, Teoscar Hernandez with the RBI double to make it a 9-3 ball game. Then we pick it up here in the top of the eighth inning. Uh, Hunter Markworth singles on a line drive to center field. Eric Hall comes around to score as the Phillies uh, get that run right back. Now a 10-3 ball game. Uh, so, a nice uh, line drive single right there up the middle uh, to score Derek Hall. 10-3 Philadelphia. Then we pick it up here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Josh uh, Pernitez homers on a fly. Line ball to right center field. Uh, 200 shot also scores Nathan Lucas. And the Blue Jays, uh, you know, get two runs back. Now a 10-5 to ball game. Uh, so that was off of Mike Adams. Not a big deal. The home run really, really was insignificant. Uh, so that would be your final. 10-5. to Phillies win. Uh, they've definitely been hot recently. There's no doubt about that. Dita Gregorius step adding out of layoff spot. The only one. It was a big one. Uh, the uh, home run to right field. Uh, his second of the spring. You know, second in two days, and uh, Gene Segura batting out of the two hole, getting the start at second, uh, collecting the hit, also scoring one of the fills, uh, 10 runs this afternoon, and uh, Bryce Harper, three hits today, the two, uh, you know, long home runs, also, you know, that line drive single, uh, he definitely was just on fire today, right, he was he was locked in, he looked good, he looked like he was in mid-season form, scoring three runs today also as well, Nick Castellanos, uh, makes his Phillies debut as he gets to start out in left field. It's a shame we couldn't, you know, watch him on TV. But his first hit as a Phil, you know, in spring training here is a single to right field. Uh, and he also walked today and struck out. Uh, but he also scored one of the Phil's runs right on the uh, bases loaded walk by Bryson Scott. It's just great to, you know, have Nick Castellanos, you know, wearing the Phillies uniform. It just, it's just great, man. I, I, I'm so pumped about this guy. He has a violent swing. Uh, he's going to do great in this ballpark. He's going to connect well with the fans. I just love it. Uh, Mickey Milniak, only one. It was a big one with the two-run home run. Uh, you know, he's just, as I said, he's just been on fire recently. With a 235 average, he still manages to have uh, an 1,000. 1059 OPS, uh, which is very, very good. Uh, so he's, you know, still manages to have an OPS that high, uh, which is pretty impressive. And uh, JT Minto gets a start behind the plate and also collects a knock. Uh, Reese Hoskins, you know, after going, you know, uh, almost 500 feet yesterday with, you know, the you know, 470 plus blast to right center uh, goes hitless today. Uh, but the thing I like about Reese is he mixed in a walk, right? You know, the ability to want to see the baseball uh, and get on base. You know, it's one of Reese's strong points, and you see that right there. Uh, so, uh, you know, not the best day out of Reese Hoskins, but, you know, it is what it is. It's only spring training. Juan Camargo, a pretty good day today. Uh, you know, collected two hits, also scoring one of the Phil's runs. You know, the utility man. You utility man, you know, get used to this name. He's going to be playing around, especially if we see some injuries, uh, which I hope, you know, we do not see. 
Uh, but uh, Bryson Scott to start at third today. So there has been some talk, uh, you know, around the Philadelphia, you know, Phillies media that uh, apparently he may be the opening day third baseman. It is a possibility. Uh, it is a possibility, especially with Bohm's struggles so far this spring and him just being a terrible defender. Uh, there is a possibility that this guy could be your opening day third baseman. Uh, the thing is, is he's just so great at short. And I think this is one thing that you could do when D.D. walks after this year is you move him to his natural position, which is shortstop. Uh, but it provides great range, uh, I guess, wherever he plays, uh, you know, especially at short. Uh, but uh, he needs to be a very good defender. He's a very, very good defender. Uh, provides great range. There's no doubt about that. So Bryson's got three RBIs today. Drawing two walks. He had a great day today. He's had a great spring, you know, hitting 417 and 1,255 OPS. And this is why he's our top prospect, right? He, he honestly should be ranked higher in the top 100. Uh, it's kind of disgraceful where he's at. Uh, and uh, Adam Hazley gets to start in center. Uh, you know, pretty disappointing. We have uh, six runners on base today, batting 125 and measly 125 to begin the spring. Uh, you know, more, we're halfway through the spring training, you know, schedule. It's hard to believe this was game. This is game 10, uh, only 20 games. So, so we are halfway through the spring training, you know, schedule. It's hard to believe. Bailey Falter, uh, three innings, three hits, one run, run was earned. It was home in the Guerrero Jr., one strikeout. Uh, and, of course, you know, he did allow the home run. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's okay. He was okay. You know, this is a guy that's definitely going to see some time. Uh, you know, I, I do like Bailey Falter. I do. I think he's, you know, he's decent. You know, 2 2 5 ERA so far to, you know, begin the spring. Nick Nelson two solid innings today. Of course, he did allow the, uh, the solo blast. And Cam Trojan, you know, struggles continue. It was absolutely treacherous today, uh, but then he walks two, uh, you know, allows the earned run as his ERA now climbs to nine. He's definitely been, you know, this bad so far as we begin the spring. He'll, he'll probably make the team just because of our depleted bullpen and our not very good bullpen and our weak bullpen and all of the above. Uh, but uh, he definitely wouldn't deserve to make it on a team like the Dodgers, you know, the Braves, you know, not anybody like that. I mean, this is just, uh, the bullpen's weak and that's why he's probably going to make the team, but he's honestly been very disappointed. Now you're going to talk about guys like Mike Adams. This is not important. Uh, not guys, you know, to keep your eye on. Uh, but uh, that is your final. 10-5. to 5. Uh, It was just great to see. And uh, some disappointing news, uh, you know, when the Phillies did officially make the Nick Castellanos signing, utility man Luke Williams is designated for assignment. And uh, today he was dealt to the San Francisco Giants. Uh, so I think we all knew the end was near. Just because you get designated for assignment does not mean that your time of the organization is over. It just means you get booted from the 40-man roster and they have a waiting period to see what they're going to do with you. Uh, so they could outright you. They could, you know, they could have just outrighted him to minor league camp if they wanted. Uh, but instead, they decide to trade him uh, to the San Francisco Giants. Uh, so it's it's sad, man. I mean, you know, the walk-off home run against the Atlanta Braves last year, right? The That was just great. That was such, such an exciting moment. I'm actually kind of surprised to see him just give up on him like this. It wasn't anything spectacular, to say the least, but... Um, you know, it was kind of just weird the way this whole thing went down, right? It was just kind of weird. It's so a best of luck to Luke in San Francisco. Definitely going to miss having a guy I share a name with on the Phils, right? Am I right? I mean, uh, you know, it's definitely sad to see Luke go. Uh, if you do not know, of course, my name uh, is also Luke. That's so definitely, you know, sad to see, right? I mean, uh, you know, this is a young kid that definitely provided some spark. I mean, uh, it definitely was inconsistent. Uh, you know, it was really just, you know, setting him on fire when he came up. But, of course, they figured him out like they always do. Uh, you know, same thing happened, especially with Nick Maton. Uh, I remember that out of last year. But, uh, I'll tell you what's not disappointing. Bryson Scott, uh, you know, looking just spectacular. Start to spring. Bryce Harper hitting two bombs today. Um, you know, just wonderful. Just a, just a great game. Wish we could have seen. We wish we could have, you know, watched live. But it's still great to hear, you know, Scott Fransky and Larry Anderson call it on 94 WIP. Uh, so uh, the Phils are back in action tomorrow on TV uh, against the Baltimore Orioles as Dean Kramer will make the start for the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, he does not have a record so far this year, but he has a 4-5-0 ERA. And uh, Chris Sanchez will make the start for uh, the Phils as he is 1-0 so far this spring. So Dean Kramer, right? I mean, a guy that, you know, definitely was, you know, looked pretty good for a stint there in 2020 as a member of the Baltimore Orioles. Kind of has had a little setback uh, in 2021, but he's still a guy that the Orioles... Uh, are definitely looking at. So Dean Kramer on the mound for the Orioles and Chris Sanchez gets the ball for the Phils on NBC Sports Philadelphia. I mean, you know, Don McCarthy, you know, you saw Scott Vransky call the game. Uh, I believe that was on Friday uh, as Tom McCarthy was doing college basketball. Kind of weird to hear Scott Fransky do it on TV, but, you know, we got to prepare for all eventualities. I love that when Ricky Bowe did it, uh, and I believe that was on September 11th against the Rockies last year. I love that. I thought he was, I thought he did a great job. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you 
have not yet, please turn the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, check out the social media, link the description section at Philly Science Stove Media, Instagram, Instagram, uh, follow me on Twitter at Piant Stove Media, car text 267 225 3392, email me, Philly Science Stove Media at gmail.com. So, Dean Kramer against Chris Sanchez. So, guys, thanks for watching. I am Luke, and I'll talk to you later. Let's go, Phil. It's a great win today. I'll see you.